Hi everyone, this is Rachel here, the Modern Shaman. Thanks for being with me for another YouTube Q&A video of this week. As always, I would love for you to like, subscribe, share, comment, get all of your energy on these videos with me. I love hearing from you guys. I love knowing what you like to discuss and kind of your feedback on all the information that I share. Also, if you haven't been to my website, I always recommend that you go there first. It has a lot of information if you'd like to sit with me for a session here in my office in San Antonio, Texas, or online via Zoom, uh, phone, you name it. We can really connect anywhere nowadays. That's also on the website, as well as my teaching curriculum. My masterclass curriculum is modules made available there. So there's a lot of ways that you can grow in your own uh, psychic gifts to really stand in the truth of who you are as a soul, as a spirit, beyond just the human form. I hope you guys will take advantage of it and that it will bless you. All right, so here's the question that came in this week. It says, hi, Rachel. Thanks so much for your channel. Once again, this is my second question I've asked you, but I wanted to let you know how much I appreciated you answering the first one. I still watch it over and over again, and it just serves with so much confidence that I wanted to ask you about confidence. <laughs> All right. I'm struggling with insecurity about myself. I just don't have that same confidence to move forward in the decisions that I'm making or that I feel like I should make. I would love some advice from you about how to be less insecure. Okay. Hmm. I'm sending you love right now. I'm just feeling that energy. I think so many of us, just as humans, we all experience this same emotional scenario that you're talking about. Feeling like you should make certain decisions and you want to make certain decisions, but you're insecure about making them. Um, or we have a lack of confidence to be able to step forward. I see this oftentimes when I teach psychic development. Um, that's something we work on at the beginning. When you want to really stand and share your gifts with others, you have to deal with this aspect of fear and insecurity within yourself first and foremost to identify who it is that you are and what you're capable of. Uh, confidence is so important in that. I really think it's foundational. So the first thing I will tell you as my advice is to drop this desire to be less insecure <laughs> uh, because you're focused on the insecurity. Instead, reframe that and kind of flip the coin of what it is that you're really looking for and that is confidence instead of lessening your insecurity. Let insecurity be there. Let the fear arise. Just ride over it like a wave with a sense of confidence. So the first thing I would say is just drop that idea. Drop the language of it. Stop saying it. Stop thinking about your insecurities. All right? No more a word. No more a term for you. We're reframing that into strengthening your confidence. Okay. So my second piece of advice would be kind of hmm, refining what confidence is. In my experience in the non-physical realm, or for those of you that are empaths or clairsentient that can feel the energy, if you can feel it precisely, the energy of confidence is very, very similar to the energy of clarity. So when we have clarity about things, we have a sense of firmness to our energy. The same is true of confidence. And I'm not talking about arrogance. There's no um, comparative energy here. You're not comparing where you are with someone else or where you are with where you want to be. You're simply standing in the energy of confidence. And again, that has a lot of characteristics energetically that feel the same as having clarity in your life. Now, the reason I bring this up is it's my advice to you that you get clear 
about yourself instead of trying to build confidence, which a lot of people will teach you, you know, this kind of fake it till you make it. But there's a falseness to that. And when we are psychically sensitive or empathic or very attuned to our own soul, we don't like this. We don't like the plasticness to this faking. In fact, we can't align with it. And so it creates a bigger chasm between our sense of self and this fake identity. So it doesn't work, basically. <laughs> so my advice to you is to work on clarity instead. And that, my love, will work. Because you have clarity. I promise you, somewhere in your life you can find clarity. Okay, and I can give this to you very simply because it is simple. The energy of clarity, actually, the more simpler you can get, the more transparent and honest you can get, the basic truth of the truth that you can come up with, the better. Because that feels more and more grounded and you will believe it. And when your own sense of self believes what you're saying, or the clarity that you've come up with, then you have confidence. It's the same energetic imprint because you know it to be true. Again, there's no comparative energy. You just know this is true and you have confidence in that, all right? It would be like, like me saying here, this is a pillow, right? This is a pillow. I, I'm very clear that that is what this is. This is a pillow. <laughs> And I have clarity about that. And again, that energy, I feel confident in that. There's no questioning for me. It is what it is. There's truth to it. There's clarity to it. There's confidence in it. So in order to develop and strengthen the energy of your own sense of confidence and by default, eliminate the insecurity, I want you to do these three things to strengthen your clarity. That's what we're gonna focus on. And these are statements that you say over and over and over, but we start them with writing down, okay? Grounding this information. It's really helpful to kind of pull it through your energetic centers of the mind and move it onto the paper and ground it through paper. I've talked th about this a million times, but paper is very grounding. It's made from the uh, element of trees and the mineral content and the earthiness, it really helps to pull energy and ground it down into our material realm. So it's powerful, just the practice of, this is why journaling is very powerful for pulling this energy that feels chaotic in the mind, we're all over the place, we can't concentrate, we can't meditate, our thoughts are just jumping around. When we write it down, it funnels the energy and moves it through our hand onto the page and soaks it up. Just like water soaking into dirt, you are literally using the etheric element of energy, moving it through the body and letting it absorb in a direct path onto the page. When you're visually reading what you've written, you amplify that as well. So it's a powerful practice, very simple, but it has deep, deep impact. So write it down. When you start, I want the three points. First one is, I am this. I am blank, okay? So you start writing down and get clarity about yourself. Again, this will form a foundation of clarity that amplifies and creates the similar energetic pattern of confidence. I am this. And just start simple about yourself. I am a kind person. Something that you know to be true about yourself. I am creative. I am interesting. I am thoughtful. I am inquisitive. I am a caretaker. I am always learning. I am childlike and giddy 
I'm fun. I'm whatever. You get the picture. You essentially start making a list and writing that statement over and over and over. And these are quality characteristics. So we're looking for characteristics in your soul. I am blank. Okay, that's the first statement that you begin to write down. And then when you're reading, you're writing it, you're reading it visually, again, amplifying that energy through the visual format. And then you say it out loud. You say it in your head, you say it out loud like a mantra over and over. You just read those things. I'm kind. I'm funny. I am open-minded. I'm patient. Or whatever it is, okay? Don't say something that you don't think you are, but you can find something and you can have clarity on that point. I'm clear about that. I know that about myself, all right? And I'm not comparing myself to anyone else. I just know that's, that's who I am. Right, okay. The second one is, I want this, okay? Something that you desire in your life, in your heart. And these are, I want to explore the world. I want to learn more things. I want to meet more people. I want to have an impact. I want to heal the earth. I want to heal others. I want to create something beautiful. Whatever it may be, get clear. Think about it. Spend time thinking about it. Don't be trivial. Like genuinely get to the core energy that feels true for you. I genuinely do want this. I genuinely want my life to matter. Yeah, I can honestly say that. I genuinely want to smile every day, whatever it is for you. Come up with this list and then do this again to where you're writing it down, you're seeing what you're writing, you're saying it out loud, you're saying it in your head, turning it into this mantra of clarity. Again, this creates the foundation for the same energy imprint of confidence. Okay. Then the last one is, I can do blank. I can do this, okay? I can uh, give a really sincere compliment to someone, right? I can keep a plant alive. <laughs> I, that one's hard for me. I mean, I have to, I love those easy plants because they stay alive. But something like this, I can write a kind note to someone. I can um, inspire someone to be better. I can make a good meal. I can sing. I can, you name it, you get the picture. This is the last affirmative statement of clarity. I can do this. I'm capable of this and I'm not inflating it. It's, I'm not comparing. I'm not boasting. I'm just saying it is what it is. I can do this. Yes, I can. All right. I can swim. I can laugh. I can breathe easily. I can walk. Not everyone can, right? There are many things that you can sincerely do and that you have clarity that you are capable of doing. Write it down, See yourself writing it down, state it out loud, and state it in your mind like a mantra. These three things, right? I am this, I want this, I can do this. Building clarity, clarity. You stick with this at least for 21 days, and you stick with it, and you stick with it, and you stick with it. This pattern will create an amplified energy of confidence because again, it is the same energetic imprint as clarity. When you have clarity, you believe it, you know it's true, it is what it is, it's just transparent, right there in your face, it is. And that is the same energy of confidence. You don't have to create it, it just is. You're just confident. When you meet someone that's confident, they're just, they're just themselves. They're good with it right? This is the energy that you start to embody 
through clarity. So that's my suggestion for you, Mama. Don't even worry about insecurities. It will dissipate as the energy of your clarity begins to rise and amplify. All right, I'm going to sign off here. Much love to you guys. We'll be back here next week with another video.